Is it weird that the internet be all in y'all business like that? Hell yeah. Man. That <laughs> shit weird. be weird. It's the weirdest shit ever. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It be weird, but it also be a good thing because now it's like motherfuckers get to see, get to, get to see, get to see the other side. You know what I'm saying? Right. From us. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a motherfucker tell me like, man, Y'all don't look approachable and woo out the bam. Y'all, I know where you from. Y'all think it's not approachable. Then right. y'all aggressive. And I'm like, we aggressive. Wait, who told you that? Yeah, that's crazy. Did you know Odie Perry? Hell no. You know, his name is for some reason linked to like two good names. I find do you find that a little crazy that you know for some reason it's like two good Ki and Od Perry those names are all linked together. So. I mean, yeah, because it, it you know what it is with that Od Perry situation, man. It was like like I said, they was called Wick City at first before they were even called Old Block and all that shit. That's well, Old Block. Is yeah, new. and a lot of young goofy niggas over there now they don't even know that shit. You feel me? They don't know shit about like you know what I'm saying the. The spot like the skating rink that used to be up there, you know what I'm saying? I'm a old, I'm a older nigga, so I know about that. You know what I'm saying? I know about going up there and getting into it with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? And they, they look like I don't know nothing about that and how they even started that shit. Cause once again, niggas copying from us, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Stealing our shit. We named our shit after my brother, so they was like, all right, fuck us. We gonna name our shit after OD. You so Tugerville was named first. And now they when 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 dude got his ass clapped, that's what happened. They ain't that motherfucking shit over. Oh, that's crazy. So those deaths happened around the same time. Yeah, and, uh, man, you know what I just found out when I was just on uh, looking that up on YouTube and shit. The nigga OD died a year after, or I think two years after my brother' birthday on my brother' birthday. Cause everybody know we celebrate my brother's birthday on every year on his birthday and shit, and it's crazy. I was locked up, shit, and shit on my brother's birthday, shit. That's when the nigga got killed. Man. Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Did you know the legendary uh, Boss Trail? Yeah, I knew Trail last man. Trail stayed around the corner from my old crib on 64th for St. Lawrence. He was skinny as hell with dreads. Folks had big teeth. I'm from them. I remember his little lad. Mm -hmm. I remember walking into his crib, his mama tab, when she rest in peace, man. I swear to God. It was first time seeing Trill. He was sitting on the porch, twisting his dress. I'm looking like, who the fuck is this nigga? They they it was uh Dutchy and everybody and shit. They like, man, that's folks son. that's folks brother right there. Who out the bell? You know what I'm saying? Me and Trill got the click and we got the talking and shit, mm -hmm. man. We was all sitting up. That's when we made his uh crib like our new kicking spot. We all used to post up, kick it up. Tab showed everybody love and shit. She ain't get no fuck. That's the and boss and boss trail crib is the crib with the people where the chains with that address on it. Yeah. Y'all see chains, that's the address, that's the crib. Boss Trail wasn't a rocker, right? I asked I asked uh Cash that he wasn't a rocker. No. But a lot of people talk about him now. Like, he had the rap vibe. It's documentaries about him, too. 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 views. Man, because it's like the world want to know these people. You know what I'm saying? The world want to know these people, like, the way we know them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they got to go through, like, they dig me and they insight. You know what I'm saying? To try to find out, like, what it was that gave this person that name. You feel what right. I'm saying? So, a motherfucker like me... I don't understand it because you know what I'm saying. Trail was like a every that's a he a regular nigga. This was you know what I'm saying like you right. feel me, and that's how I look at that shit, bro. It's just, it, we're all in, we're all in the business, man. Cause they also tell me about another guy by the name of Lil B. Did you know him? Hell yeah. I was told that you know he was now. I don't want you to take this the wrong way now, okay? But I was told Lil B was kind of aggressive. I was told, you know, he was, yeah, take your shit. Oh yeah, Libby, will take your shit in your face. Hmm. On phone though, he was a little, he was a little nigga too, and he had grown nigga scared. Phone where he had grown nigga scared. And something happened to him, right? Yeah, you know, twelve bitch. Uh, 
All the police. Oh, you know what? That's the story the FBG Duck was telling on Vlad TV, I think. Yeah, that shit crazy. The police, huh? Yeah. Um, you know what? The fans told me when I interviewed you last time. They say true. It's something you missed in that interview. I don't know how you interviewed Peasy. You know, you must have been scared, True. You were scared because you ain't asked him. <laughs> they said, boy, they they said you were scared, True. <laughs> they said you ain't asked him. So I got you here, and I'm going to ask you this question without being a police But I am going to ask you this. But the whole internet be police the, the fans be police like... The music be police. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask you this though, Lil Mark. The fans say truth. I got to ask you about Lil Mark. What's that?